A story affecting every American family. Here's the question. Are your earphones ruining your hearing right now, tonight? Are millions and millions of Americans walking around listening to music but ensuring they will not be able to hear as well in the years ahead? Tonight, the mayor of New York says it's time to send out an alarm. And ABC's chief medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, is stepping in. 30 years ago, people in their 20s could all hear the rustle of leaves, the drip of a raindrop, the babble of children. Now, for one in five of them, those sounds are gone forever. Normally, people were coming in in their 50s and 60s with hearing loss, and now that has shifted into people in their 30s and 40s. In fact, Dr. George Alexiades has to tell more and more teens their high-pitched hearing is already gone. Everybody in the club. Designer headphones are big business, high-ticket must-haves. But for hearing loss, earbuds may be the most destructive. Some context. Music devices can produce about 115 decibels of sound. Earbuds add 5 decibels more. 85 decibels is where hearing damage starts. Power tools, 98 decibels. A lawnmower, 107. A jet taking off 100 feet away, 140. Can I touch you for a minute? So how loud is the music? I went out with a decibel meter. Coming in about 95. Oh. 105. Whoa! 109. Oh my God. Here's what happens inside your ear. When strong sound vibrations hit your ear, the problem deep inside the cochlea are fragile hair cells. They turn vibration into sound messages to the brain. Blast them with loud sounds, and some wither. If the loud sound is brief, they recover. But if it lasts too long or happens too often, they die, and they never grow back. If you get to 100 decibels, I would limit that to about one hour a day. My advice? Never go higher than three quarters of your top volume, and a couple of hours is enough. Dr. Richard Besser, ABC News, New York.